Hello Gothamites and welcome back to the Gotham Knight channel. I'm your host, the Gotham Knight, and we got a lot to get to. And I know a lot of you are wondering, Gotham Knight, where have you been? Well, what's going on? Well, I'm about to fill you guys in, okay? So, um, so first of all, I'm sorry I wasn't around uh, right after uh, the DC event. Um, the reason why is for uh, personal reasons. Uh, my wife had surgery, um, and um, those that reached out, thank you so, to those that, that were in the community that reached out, thank you so much. Uh, but yes, my wife had uh, surgery, and we were getting to a point where now I could come back and, and record because uh, anything and everything, family should always come first. And, um, you know, she's doing... She's doing very well. Um, she's doing, you know, doing amazing. So thank you so much, guys, for for reaching out. Now, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. And I'm not going to tell you that I was the first one to tell you. But I was the first one to tell you on a bunch of this news. So I want to go ahead and get right on to the, the current news. And I want to go ahead and go back into some of the news that uh, came out during the time that uh, I hadn't recorded. And um, basically talk about what's going on. Okay. So right out the bat. Batgirl. Batgirl is filming right now over in the UK and Grace uh, and um, oh my goodness. I was saying Grace Randolph. Uh, <laughs> Grace Randolph is uh, <clears throat> one of the ones who's been uh, talking about because Grace does have a lot of, uh, of uh, sources within the industry. And she had talked about uh, about. Uh, OK, OK. This is one of her, her tweets. Uh, okay, looking into this, one of my sources says that there will be a Robin cameo leading into a Nightwing movie. Looking into this further and developing. Now, we have talked about before uh, in past shows about uh, the Nightwing movie. And the Nightwing movie that was supposed to come into uh, HBO Max. And a lot of things are developing with discovering HBO Max. And one of the things is, is the Nightwing movie. And that's starting to get a lot of steam. Um, and the reason why is because set photos are starting to leak out from the, uh, from the set of Batgirl. And one of the things that we're showing is that Robin is alive during the, the Keaton uh, era. Well, well, we know that from the comic books because... We see who was supposed to be Marlon Wayans. We see Marlon Wayans coming in uh, as uh, Winston as the Robin in the Burton verse. Now, for this one, it is clearly the old school Robin with the yellow, red, and green attire like Robin Hood. Uh, or, you know, Robin the swashbucklers of the, of the, the 30s that would have been. So that's where the costume was inspired. And we see that in these set photos. And a lot of people were talking before this uh, about, you know, a possible Robin coming in. And now we know that Dick Grayson is actually going to appear in the Batgirl movie somehow. In what format? What, what can it be? Well, here, here's the thing. So when you're looking at the set photo, as you are with me right here, and we see Batman and Robin on this faded wall, we see that Michael Keaton has got uh, an update on his costume. His, uh, his suit does look something like something from the animated version. Now, I am going to go ahead and um, actually share uh, an actual photo of where these costumes took place from. Now, when you're looking at the set photo, you see Batman and a faded Robin right there. And you can see that these were uh, more than likely in inspired from uh, what looks like to be uh, artwork and statues. Okay. Now, it is a, a rendition of it looks like a Batman statue in an old Batman drawing that have uh that inspired this mural and it's very cool but it leads to a lot of questions 
that here Michael Keaton's suit has been updated. Is this suit going to appear in the Flash movie? That's that's one thing that we're going to ask ourselves. Is this suit appearing in the Flash? Uh, the other thing is, is that who's going to be playing Robin or who was the Robin in in this in this verse? Well, uh, of course, we know that that's not Marlon Wayans right there, which Marlon Wayans was supposed to be in Batman Returns. But because of everything that came out, Marlon Wayans did come out. Uh, well, his character did in the comic books that are coming out right now in Batman 89. And we know that there have been a, a few auditions out there. And uh, there are rumors that a Joshua Bassett was going to be Robin. And if you go out there and you look, Joshua Bassett put out a, a tweet that I had a really special call today working on something super secret that I've never been more excited about. No one here has a clue what it is. Well, Joshua, I might have a clue. And I think Batman diehard fans kind of know you have a clue. And <laughs> we have a clue that you are going to be Robin. And not only Robin, but it's going to lead you to into the Nightwing movie. And so now we get to see where it, it looks like. Um, guys, take this with a grain of salt, right? Always take it with a grain of salt. Because that that it, this is something that you know is coming out, but you know when you do one plus one, it, it, it matches up. So uh, it looks like Joshua said is going to be set to play or be the Robin in the Keaton verse, but also um, he's also going to more than likely be Nightwing in a HBO Max movie. And so that's something that we get to to look forward to on that part. So, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much the the breaking news on on what's happening on the Batgirl set. Now, I will say that uh, that on the Batgirl movie, um, it looks like it's coming along pretty pretty well. And from the set photos, we see a a lot of of Things that are going to be hopefully within that Keaton verse and keeping to that that uh, hopefully dark theme, and we know that that's why Keaton um, posted out that the reason why he didn't come into Batman Forever was because Sh Joel Schumacher has said, "Oh, that was too dark. You know, we need a lot of color." And Keaton said, well, okay, well, I'm out. <laughs> so that's basically why Michael Keaton did not return for Batman Forever after Batman Returns is because Joel Schumacher made that comment and it rubbed Michael Keaton the wrong way, that they were moving away from that Burton feel. And if Keaton wants to be a part of these, it, you know they, they're going to have to have that 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 dark feel to it okay so um some other bit of news um other bit of news that while i was gone and we're gonna go ahead and keep in that kind of same verse about ben affleck ben affleck has basically come out and said that they won that he when they did the filming for the flash and his appearance in the flash was very special uh, he thinks that he finally figured it out how to do Batman and that uh, he hopes that what they did, he that they leave in for for uh, for the movie. And basically said that that was his that was his goodbye. That was his goodbye to the character. And I can tell you this, guys, from from the sources that I've spoken to, it is a goodbye for now. And the reason why I say for now, um, remember when I mentioned all the things that are going on with the Discovery in, in Warner Brothers part? Discovery wants Ben Affleck back for a movie, a series on HBO Max. And from Ben Affleck's camp is, you know, let's let's see what, what can happen. You know, we'll talk. We'll talk. Basically, that's what came out of the camp is 
hey, we'll talk. No, guys, this is a grain of salt. To take it with a grain of salt. Um, but that has come out from from Ben Affleck's camp is that right now he's done with Batman. And when Discovery fully takes over WB, which is going to be here very soon, you know, they'll have a talk. And will this be the last of Ben Affleck? We don't know. We don't know what is going on in the Flash. We were some of the first news to break on to tell you what was going on in the Flash. And what's happening there. So, yeah. Pretty much right now, Ben Affleck is done as Batman. Until Discovery gets fully in there. And that's a new team. That's going to be a new regime. And... We're going to see where that leads. So I'm hoping that Ben Affleck will will still be able to reprise the role somehow. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, leave it at that. Right. So on to the other bit of news, which is uh, we are what two months away, a little bit over two months away from having the Batman in theaters. That's right. The Batman is coming out. And the the things that have were were coming out about the movie, a lot of positivity, a lot of positive things, and a lot of positive uh, talks uh, about it. Now, before I left, I had mentioned that there was a a lot of things moving in the background with uh, the Batman, and I had mentioned. Before anybody on YouTube, that the Joker was maybe going to make an appearance. Well, we're now finding out. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I missed it by a what, couple of weeks, two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> that, that indeed, Barry Keegan, if I hopefully you say his name wrong, I, I might murder his names, right? That Barry may be the Joker and not Jarvis, who we thought would be the Mad Hatter. We did a whole episode on it on the on the show that you can go listen to. Um, and then uh, through that time, I was hearing that hey, psst, uh, guess what? I think the Joker might be coming out, and I would ask my re my sources and say well who's playing joker like is it jared leto i mean it can't be jared and they were like no it's not jared and they got really quiet after that it got really quiet and when you have these kind of sources you don't you don't really push and you don't really you know pry um and they came back again and said, hey, something that went down with the Joker. And I was like, oh, man. That's when I came and I had mentioned to you guys months ago. This is months ago about the Joker possibly appearing in the Batman. And all of a sudden, a few weeks ago, bam, everybody's talking about it. Yes, Barry Keegan is going to be the Joker. Barry Keegan is going to be the Joker. And what part of it is is he going to play or is he what's his big part i can tell you that matt reeves and robert pattinson <laughs> i remember that guys pattinson uh are they're looking towards a three film now what they're planning to do now this is all behind the scenes um and i believe they haven't leak this part yet I, I that i know of but they're planning to film two and three back to back and they're hoping to start to do that in 20 in, in 2023 uh because the sets and everything that they want to use is already in i believe it was in glasgow in the uk so right now Batgirl's filming there 
and they're utilizing that. And right now, the Discovery slash WB want to keep using that as a set piece for Gotham. And so they're just going to keep rolling in productions and basically keep it going. They're just going to keep it going. And and it's great work. I mean, amazing work for the people that are there in, in the film industry that are in, in that area. So that is awesome, especially during this time to, to have work for that for the film industry it is amazing. So that is great. Now, with two and three. And I, I believe I'm the first one breaking this news on this. I mean, guys, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. But two and three would start filming um, late 2023. 20, I believe that's what they're that they're looking at. Um, Matt Reeves is already um, pinned. Um, I think fully two. I think he's already filled two, and then possibly three. Um, but that's what they're looking at. They're, they're looking at full on going into two and three and making sure that when they go into filming that they get this, they get this completely going. Now, Matt Reeves is already, um, working on, I know that they haven't talked about it much, but the G the GCPD show that's coming out on HBO max. Um, I believe that's already shooting right now. Um, I know they haven't talked much about it, but that's what I was talking about, guys. Like, they're 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 going. Like, Jeffrey Wright, as far as I know, is, is in the U.K. right now. And I think they're they're working on, on that. Jeffrey Wright is Commissioner Gordon. Um, so that is something that um, that is happening there. Now, how, how far along are they? I don't know. I don't know how far along they are. Um, but... There is a lot of interesting things that are going on with the Batman. And one of the things that is totally pop out of the blue was that Matthew McConaughey was going to maybe have a role or he's going to be in part two or three. I really don't know what that is. I'm trying to find out for you guys, like, what's going on there? Like, what is what is Matthew McConaughey have to do with the Batman? Um, of course wonderful actor amazing actor and just downright great guy so uh just excited to to see that he's gonna may maybe be possibly a part of the uh the batman franchise is is great now um that's the bit of news that i wanted to cover i know i didn't want to be it too long i didn't want it to be a long show but this is definitely our, our comeback and um, once again, guys, those that did reach out to find out what was going on, um, again, thank you so much. Thank you for, for caring and being there and as we grow our community. And um, thank you so much for that, guys. Uh, now, um, like I said, my wife is doing um, really well. You know, we're not, we're not fully out of the woods yet, but she's doing amazing. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, one day, you know, you know, when we develop our filming <laughs> technique and everything, we'll do some live shows and you guys get to get to see Mrs. Uh, Gotham Knight. So, um, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Please like and subscribe. We are back. We are, are happy again to do shows and um, just glad to see you. Now, we do have a second channel that we started a long time ago. And it's for Star Wars fans. So if you're Star Wars nut, follow us over there. Um, it's Star Wars Empire Knights. And we're coming back for that one as well. So, um, yeah, guys, just want to wish you guys all well. And remember, always drink your Gotham coffee. Always support that. <laughs> all right, guys, you guys take care and have a fun day out in Gotham City. Take care.